rolling. I just got really nervous. I don't even know why. <laughs> I'm already out. <laughs> hey guys, it's Hat here. I've gotten a lot of questions from you guys about the specifics of coming out. Obviously I did the comic strip, but there was certainly a lot more that kind of led up to that first point where I was able to say for the first time, I'm gay. And that's what this video is going to be about. This is my coming out story. Growing up, I had always kind of known that I was attracted to other guys. And it wasn't that big of a deal when I was younger. I wasn't too particularly interested in pursuing it. I didn't really go out. I didn't really go to parties. I didn't go to dances. I really liked drawing and writing. And I had these other things I was much more focused on. And I spent most of my time doing that. You start getting a bit older, you go into junior high and high school, and these things kind of start playing more of a role in, in your life and, and those in the lives around you. And I started to see other people dating and discovering sexuality and sex, and not me. It just wasn't for me at the time. I, I didn't understand it. I didn't know how to approach it. And I was confused about a lot of it. I kept asking myself, I'm attracted to other guys, but I don't act like a gay guy. I don't talk like the way they talk. I don't like the things they like. And because of that, I just kind of assumed that I was broken. And that this was never going to be something that I would get to experience. I would never know what it was like to hold somebody's hand, and I would never know what it was like to kiss somebody, and I believed I would never know what it... I thought that I was never going to know what it meant to be in love. And it was incredibly isolating to see everyone else around you getting to explore and experience these things and feeling as though for whatever reason you were not made for it. Luckily, I did have things that I enjoyed doing very much, like writing and drawing. And both of those things acted as a creative outlet for me. And quite frankly, were probably the only things that kept me sane growing up or at least as sane as I actually am. I had brushed off this idea of ever being in a relationship, of ever really having anybody, and was much more focused on a career. I knew very strongly what I wanted to do. I was very passionate about it, and I just began to pursue it. I went to college, I studied animation. While I was there, I didn't explore my personal life at all. I didn't explore my sexuality. I didn't go on dates, I didn't hook up with people, I never had sex. It was still something that I had just put to the side. I didn't think it mattered. And I had gone so long without ever acting on anything that I just assumed I was never going to. And I had almost come to terms with that. As I started trying to define myself as an artist, I would consistently look out at other artists and people and artwork that I was inspired by. And I would see the artwork that they did, whether it was a song or a painting or a film. And I looked at my own work and it just felt like there was something missing. Where do they get this inspiration? What are they drawing from? For the longest time, I shied away from ever calling myself an artist and I didn't know why. I was frustrated at school, but still I was very, very focused on my career and I, I still knew very, very strongly what I wanted to do. I wanted to make cartoons. It's all I'd ever wanted to do. So I left school, I dropped out, and I moved to California where I began to do internships at cartoon studios. I was able to surround myself with a community of other artists who were very open-minded and very caring and accepting for them, things like sexuality, 
orientation, race, religion, are not an issue. And yet, even amidst a community like this, I still held on and hid my true feelings. I had done it for so long that it just became habit for me. After a few years of working, I had finally felt comfortable with where my career was. And it just felt like the right time to turn my attention towards the personal side of my life. I realized very quickly how far behind I was. I'd never gone on a date. I didn't have a huge network of friends. And I felt a bit lost. It started for me with dating websites. I created a fake profile. There was no picture, absolutely no information. I was terrified somebody might find me. It was just a blank screen and I just started looking at other guys. For whatever reason, I happened to stumble upon somebody's profile and I saw pictures of this person. And for the first time in my life, I started to have feelings. And all of a sudden, I got hit with inspiration and I began writing and drawing and I wrote a song out of nowhere and that had never happened before. I finally began to understand what everyone else understood, which was love. It completely redefined the way I saw being an artist. It was for the first time making something for somebody. I reached out to this person, kind of reluctantly. I explained a bit about myself, about my situation, that I was not out, but that I saw a picture of you and I wrote a song for you. Honestly, to my surprise, he ended up writing back. And we talked for a little bit, which led to Skype conversations. Talking with this individual was the happiest I'd ever been in my entire life. It was amazing. I'd never felt anything like that before. I never thought I would feel like that. Knowing now that this was something I was capable of, I realized I was going to have to tell everybody. I was going to have to tell my family and my friends that I was gay. It was nighttime and I was driving. I was living in LA at the time and there was an abandoned parking lot at the top of this mountain. It was always empty. So I made my way up. I parked my car. I was laying on the roof and I decided to call my dad. He's the smartest person I know. Anytime I have any kind of problem, issue, question, I always go to him first. I rang him up. It was a little bit late. He asked me if everything was okay. And there was a long pause. And I just started crying. And he asked me if everything was okay. And I said yes. And I said, do you remember a few weeks ago when you asked me if I was ever planning on getting married or having kids and I said no I don't think so and he said yeah I remember that and I said well the reason I not going to is because I can't because I'm not attracted to women I did not think I was going to get this emotional. <laughs> Hold on. I got I got a sound effects machine just in in case. I'm crying. I calmed down a bit and stopped crying and he told me 
that as long as I was happy and as long as I was healthy, that that was all that's important. We talked on a daily basis for the next couple weeks. He was the only person that knew. He didn't really understand it. I don't understand being straight, so I get it. <laughs> um, but we just talked, and he was there, always. Over the next few months, I would gradually start to tell the rest of my family. And each time it got a little bit easier. It's always awkward. Each conversation is a little bit weird and a little bit different, but it felt good. For the first time in my life, I was being honest with myself. And finally, I felt comfortable calling myself an artist. My artwork and my career began to take off in directions I'd never imagined. Coming out has been the best decision I've ever made in my life. Growing up, I had always assumed that being gay meant acting a certain way and talking a certain way, having certain interests. And it's not true. It's just not. And that's why I'm making this video. To let other people out there know that it doesn't mean anything other than who you like. It doesn't. I hear a lot of people say being gay is normal. It's not normal. It's special. It's different, it's unique, and it's something that not very many people get to experience. Embrace the experience. Use it as inspiration. Use it to help change the world around you. Each and every person who comes out has a slightly different experience. It's a slightly unique story, and the world needs to hear them. Thanks for watching. That was my... Coming out story. Oh, and that guy that I talked about earlier on in the story, he stopped talking to me, and he's a total douchebag. Um, let's see. Just go through and hit a bunch of sound effects.